because many of you know that for the past week we've been here in Myanmar and we've actually been working at a monastery teaching English and today I wanted to show you guys what it was like this past week teaching English and living at a monastery. We did want to put it into the vlogs that we've been releasing except the vlogs are just getting way too long so we thought we'd make this little video showing you guys what it's like to teach and live at a monastery. <laughs> students that live on campus and another 7,000 that come to the school so there's 8,000 students here most of them are novice monks and I think there's like 400 teachers here and then the reason the volunteers come is that they want to introduce an international language to Myanmar because the tourists haven't been coming here that long <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> so yeah the students come do their normal classes and what the volunteers are here for is to come and do English lessons with them so every day each student has an English lesson and they're all run by the volunteers here so I think the thing that we found so incredible about the school is how self-sustaining this school is. They have their own kitchen to feed everyone. They actually offer free education to everyone here, so no one pays anything. A thousand students that are here don't pay board, they don't pay their education, they get free food. They also have an optometrist, they have a doctor. It's just like so unbelievable that they're able to do all of this stuff. Good morning, everybody. Hello. It's the next day and we come into the uh, into the class to teach the kids and it's the end of the lesson, so we've decided to play some Uno with them. Do you have blue or two? Oh, he's changed it to red. Can you do it? Yeah, I can do it. Stephen? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Stephen. Yes. Yeah. yes. What is your name? My name is Sam. Sam. My name is Kevin. Kevin. Yes, English name. Family name is Dingo Dingo Yes, family name. Hey everyone, this is our new friend, Kevin. Yes, I'm a novice. He's a novice monk. And how old are you? 17. 17. He was just in our English class we were just at and he's walking us back to our room. Yeah. <laughs> carpentry and woodwork center so some of the novice monks take classes there and it's so unique because if you're a volunteer you actually can come here and help create tables chairs pretty much furniture to furnish the entire school which I think is quite cool plus seeing a novice monk using like a power drill and just it just looks really cool <laughs> So 
today the novices and volunteers are currently building beds, tables, and some desks for the classroom, which is pretty awesome. We've actually got like the designs here that we've come up with. And this is our desk so far. This is what we're currently making. Oh, Trying to make some chairs for the local snack shop. This is what it looks like half done. And this is what it's going to look like when we're actually finished. Well under construction, but we're just kind of fitting into the plywood because the teak wood is quite expensive. So they do use plywood in between it so that the table isn't so expensive. <laughs> Broken. <laughs> <laughs>